Hey guys, welcome to the Garden Muse. It's kind of a dreary day. It is March. Yes, it is March. And we are chugging along. Uh, just kind of dealing with things today. I got a nasty headache. I, I got head problems and I get headaches a lot. And so I'm just inside and I was looking at my plants. Now, I wanted to make this special as a warning to others because I want you guys to learn from what I've had to deal with. So if this particular issue is um, involving my window plants. Yeah, so now I got ahead of myself and I wanted to try and clone my Rosa Sharon that I got growing outside right now. So I went and I snipped some when I saw the buds forming and I brought it inside thinking, oh, I'm gonna, you know, try to sprout it and everything. And things looked like they were promising. They, they were starting good. They were starting to bud and everything. But then I was like, wait, what am, what's going on here? And I noticed the ends were getting all like curled. It's like something was sucking the life force out of it. That's what it looked like. And when I took a closer look, I was like, oh crap. I had mites. Yep, there was like some kind of mite. And if you look, you always got to look underneath the leaves. And when I did, I saw those bastards there. And I was like, no! So I was like, oh man. Now I thought, 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 thought my succulents would be okay. But I thought wrong. I should have just gotten rid of this guy. But you know what? It was already too late. Those things, those little devils have officially gone all over this windowsill here. So now this windowsill is officially in quarantine. This is the way you got to treat that kind of warfare when you're dealing with that because now realizing that I have this area completely infected now, I got to watch out for these guys. Oh no, yes, yeah, so I got that area over there. <laughs> and uh, and then, you know, not just that, I was dealing with these guys last year when I was growing my pot plants, and they infected, well, you know what, they were mostly in my garden, so they mostly went after just the garden greens, but then when I took the garden greens out, because I don't know if you've seen my last video, my pot plants got so huge, um, then they started attacking just the leaves of my pot plants, I was like, oh, and I had to do an early harvest of my um, my plants last year the buds turned out fantastic still and they were very awesome it seemed like i don't know that i think the aphids couldn't get the buds because they were probably too sticky but um they um they totally attacked the leaves so yeah i'm trying to keep them out of here so i'm just i'm kind of bummed you know so that's a warning for you guys. If you ever start to see, I'm going to show you how I found out they were on my succulents. Now, I like to grow these guys, and what I do is I pinch the tops because I like to, you know, get them to kind of branch out more. And I was looking here, and I'll show you when I saw the new growth here. If I could show you the little aphids underneath the leaves there. There's tons of aphids. Sorry, my camera can't be better. I'll have to get another one. But yeah, they're all underneath this leaf. You see it's dark here. They're all underneath this damn leaf. They totally attacked. I'm like, oh no. And then that's what made me realize they're everywhere. They're totally spreading. Now, the good news is I'm probably going to be moving soon, hopefully, God willing. So you know, I'm planning on moving my stuff over to my boyfriend's house, so I'm actually thinking about moving those guys over there before, you know, the deluge happens. So that's why, you, you know, I just want to warn you guys, watch out when you bring your indoor, your outdoor plants inside. It's always an issue sometimes because the creepy crawlies, they come inside, and you know what? I should have known better because, so this Rosa Sharon last year, I noticed that the leaves were kind of weird. They're a little wonky looking, but I wasn't entirely sure what it was that, you know, that went at it, you know, because it was just like eating at the leaves, and now I realize it was some stupid aphids. Uh, so I was like, are, actually spider. I'm not entirely sure if it's a, it doesn't quite look like spider mite it looks more like aphids because i'm looking at there and there's no 
webbing. It's more of like an aphid issue. So I'm just kind of like, damn it. Ugh. Yeah, so learn from my mistake. Be careful when you bring plants in from the outside. It's probably good to just quarantine them and keep them separated because now officially everything is infected. And um, not going to lie, you're probably better just cutting your losses and tossing the plant. Now, I don't want to have to do that. I do want to save these guys or at least save their progeny because this is a really nice plant. Damn it. I... I like these plants, but I gotta warn you, even just washing it won't help because you know why now those things are in the soil now. They're in everything. So and they're microscopic. So just to be realistic about the situation, you should just probably toss the plants and wash the pots really good if you plan on reusing them. Yeah, just a warning. Yeah, that so just wanted to tell you guys, I wish I had a better scenario. I mean, I do try, um, now what I did try uh, with my indoor garden when I did have them. Now, when you get them in your indoor garden, I hate to say it, you're kind of cutting your losses. You could try using um, what I use as like another form of pest control. It's called Nature's Good Guys soldier bugs yeah I, I look them up online now i'm not getting anything for this i just really like their company and i like that they're fighting you know pests organically and they give you an option to do that so i definitely recommend looking them up if you want to give it a try because you just don't want to toss everything i totally understand i i tried that too you know just until i was able to finish my my pot harvest and i was able to get my weed out so they'll send you some things that will actually eat those mites off of your plants. But, you know, right now, kind of with the way things are going on, and because it's such a small area right here, it almost would make more sense to get rid of it. But, you know, I totally leave it up to your discretion because not all of us, you know, I mean, we get close to our plants. So, I, I mean, it depends on how important it is to you, but do recognize that in keeping that, you are officially saddling yourself with a huge task of cleaning up everything and removing the dirt and just removing everything. So yeah, this windowsill is officially quarantined. We are officially in a quarantine situation. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys, be careful when you bring your stuff inside from the outside. I'm the Garden Muse.